Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. Today, I'm gonna cover my most common questions that I get asked about our Cold Spark rentals. First off, I wanna cover what is a cold spark machine? These boxes that we have shoot sparks in the air at about 50 degrees, anywhere between three to eight feet in the air. How much do the cold sparks cost? Well, this really depends on the number of cold spark machines that you want for your event, whether this is going to be an add-on to our DJ, our videography package, or if you're just going to have the cold spark rentals all by themselves. We have the options for all three. One of the first questions that we get asked is, how safe is it a fire hazard? What are the potential dangers? And this machines that we use are a non pyrotechnic machine. The sparks that are shoot up in the air, they only burn at 50 degrees. You can hold like a piece of paper over the top of them. You'll see some little marks, but it will not catch the paper on fire. I've even tried a plastic bag. I've tried many different things that are flammable and it will not catch it on fire. Um, but as a, a precaution, we do treat it like it is a flammable item. We always bring a fire extinguisher and we're ready just in case, but they are considered a non pyrotechnic. Now, when it comes to operating these machines, we have a couple different safety procedures. One, when we shoot the sparks up in the air, as a precaution, we like to make sure that there is nothing hanging above, either a garland, a white wall. We like to be them in an open area so that the sparks can shoot up. Not that we're worried about something catching on fire, but it can leave a mark and we don't wanna do that, especially when we're in somebody else's space. These sparks that are shooting up in the air, when they come down, they're little sand pebbles. So at the end of the event, we like to go around and sweep up the area just as a safety precaution. It's almost like it looks like a piece of sand and we don't want anybody to slip. So these are one of the safety precautions that we take. Like I said, these are also a non pyrotechnic, but we treat them like a flammable item. So we always bring a fire extinguisher just in case. When it comes to using the cold sparks, we like to use them for the grand entrance, the end of the first dance, and the sparkler exit. This all depends on the time of day, if it's an indoor event, outdoor event, and some of the different areas that we have and restrictions when it comes to using an event. But we'll usually cover this uh, before the rental is purchased or in our walkthrough. So after an event is completed, like the grand entrance, what we'll do is we'll end up uh, pulling up the tape uh, before these are all laid out. We like to have all the cords and everything taped down so nobody trips over everything. So we need to pull up all the tape. Then we'll go around the area and sweep everything up. So it usually takes about five minutes to clean everything up. After the first dance, we'll let you do the father daughter dance and the mother son dance. Once those are completed, we'll pull everything up and then we'll move it out of the way and then we'll sweep everything so it is nice and safe to continue with our dance party. So when setting these up, they usually take anywhere between seven minutes to 15 minutes to preheat. Depending on what type of event we're doing, we usually like to do a pre-blast so we can see what it looks like, make sure everything is working properly. If it's outside for like a grand entrance and nobody is around, we'll grab the photographer so they can see how bright it is. They can get their cameras ready, along with the videographers too, they can get their cameras ready as well. So that way when we do this, it's seamless and we get it right on the first time. So when many venues hear about, hey, I wanna do a sparkler machine on the indoors, their autumn perception is no, that's not gonna work here. We don't wanna cause a fire. So a lot of clients will order this, but before we uh, have this ordered as an item, we like to set up a demonstration where we can come out to the venue, give them a demonstration, they can put their hands on top of it, that they can see that these are safe, it's not gonna cause a fire, and we can address any questions that they might have or concerns, and then they can let us know, hey, yes, we can do this inside, or hey, we can only do this outside and it's just a good idea so everybody is familiar and there's no surprises on the day of your wedding. 
As to the best of my knowledge, these will not set off any fire alarms. We've gone to many hotels, done demonstrations, multiple demonstrations, and it did not set off any fire alarms. So as to the best of my knowledge of right now, we are yet to set off any fire alarms. So for a typical setup about 50 to 60% of my couples will do two cold spark machines, some will do four, and the setup can look a little bit different depending on how many machines and where they're located. But usually we'll set up two machines, usually about 10 feet apart, and then we'll run uh, gaffer's tape uh, along the walkway. So that way when you walk by, it, there's no chance for you guys to trip on any of the cords. And then we have the power station and a controller that we use to turn the cold spark machines uh, on and off. Once you guys have completed the event, then we'll come back, we'll pull up all the tape, remove the machines and let them cool down. So the effect can last anywhere between 5 to 30 seconds. If you have an event that will last more than 30 seconds, we'll send the blast up for 30 seconds. It will turn off momentarily and then we can have another blast go for another 30 seconds. So it really depends on the different type of events that we're doing and how long it will take for each event. If this is something where it needs to last more than 30 seconds, uh, we can talk about that in our consultation meeting. But usually it's about anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds and it's just to get that great photo opportunity and this is plenty of time to do all those events thank you guys for watching this video my name is alex with dj cut entertainment if you guys would like to set up a demonstration or interested in ordering this for your event please fill out our contact form thank you guys